Hi, this is Iggy's Toy Trove. We're still unpacking from Briar West, our uh, personal Briar Custom collection. We've already unpacked the minis, um, but still in this tote are the bigger horses, so that's what we're moving on to now. Uh, most of my uh, pony pouches are made by Lori Batchelor. You can look her up online. She does a really wonderful job on them. <clears throat> this fellow is done by Tammy Myrold. He is on the Salinara mold, and he's just got the coolest color and the coolest sculpting. I love this piece. He's absolutely phenomenal. His name is Corbell, which is a type of champagne, because he is a champagne-colored horse. I don't know if that was very clever of me, but I thought it was fairly clever. So you can see kind of how we... Um, pack the custom horses to protect the parts that have been resculpted on them. Um, we put the foam around uh, resculpted parts and then on his peg, on his foot, we had a bubble wrap wrapped around there. So this is Corbell. He is on the uh, Salonero mold and he has, I believe it looks like twitched ears, a new mane and tail, and he has the coolest swishy tail. I just, I love his tail. It's kind of a bear to pack, but that's okay with me because I think it's just so cool. Uh, Tammy Myrold, she has a very distinct look to her pieces. Um, they're very soft looking. I, I really enjoy her work. I own several pieces done by Tammy. See a little look of his face. See those little neck wrinkles and the detailing on his mane. It's just, her sculpting work is so, so smooth and it comes together so beautifully. And just because I love his tail, I'll show you his tail. You can see all those uh, different colors in his tail. So this is Corbell, who was a custom Salonero by Tammy Myrold. And right now I just mostly need to get their packing put back together because these are going back on the shelves. Um, they can't stay packed because um, they're mixed media and since they're mixed media they have to be able to breathe and they can't stay packed so this will take me a few moments to get their packaging all back together I apologize about that but if I don't do it now the packaging will get all jumbled and then I won't be able to find it when I need it and I'll try to stand them up so you can look at them while I'm uh, doing this part, boring part. But this horse doesn't stand well, so I didn't want to risk him falling over. So next we have, ooh, an empty pouch. Someone's missing a uh, packing. And this, oh boy, no idea what this is. Oh, this is a part of my show string, but this is a horse that I picked up at Briar West. This is a beautiful old alabaster Indian pony with the dark gray shading. I bought her because she had such beautiful dark shading. Uh, and I've been wanting a version with the dark shading in my collection for the longest time. So thank you to the seller for allowing me to add this beautiful horse to my collection. This one is named Blue Eyed Bandit. He, I think, also has his very own YouTube video on our channel. He's a custom by Tiffany Purdy. He's on the, I'm sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to say Idicus. It might be Idocus. I'm sorry, dude, don't know how to pronounce your name. Mold, and he has had um, a bit of free sculpting. I'll show him to you. He's a Grulio, or Grulia Pinto, and he has one brown eye and one blue eye. So I call him Blue Eyed Bandit, but I really probably should have Purdy somewhere in his name. You can see his little freeze brand on his neck. I love that. Uh, he also has a dorsal stripe, which goes down into the, um, the guard hairs of his tail. Really nicely done. So this is 
blue-eyed bandit done by Tiffany Purdy. I'm going to set him aside because um, he will also go straight into my cabinet since he can't be um, stored or wrapped up, which again is one of the hard parts of collecting customs is they all have to be on display, which is wonderful because it's great to see them, but um, you know, I have a son and he's really good and he's really careful, but there's always the risk of the, the cabinet getting bumped and something falling over. And we do live in California, so there's always the chance of an earthquake. So it can be kind of nerve wracking to have all these gorgeous pieces of art out on display. And they're also packed in pretty tight to my cabinet since I have a lot of them and I only designate one cabinet to my show her. The rest goes to um, show or sales horses rather. This one, I couldn't even begin to make him little custom foam padding. So I just wrapped the entire horse and this is just painter's tape and a piece of foam. And then inside is a, the reverse side of a puppy diaper, which makes for some pretty good packing. This is a vintage piece. His name is Classic Cat. He is a custom done by Sarah Minkowitz. And I believe at one point he had some restoration work done by Ed Gonzalez. So I think it was more than just a little restoration work as far as the paint. So the paint job is new. But the horse himself is vintage. Uh, let's see what his belly says. It says... 2002, and I can't read the other date. Ed Gonzalez, 2002. So the sculptural work is older than 2002, but that's when the paint job was done. And he is the classic Arabian stallion mold, and he is a very typical Sarah Minkowitz horse. You can you can see it in his expression, his very refined um, legs, the, the detailing and his wrinkling. I mean, this is a vintage piece, so be aware that uh, this is a very old piece done by Sarah Mink and it's just phenomenal to me how these old customs can uh, be so detailed and still be so competitive in today's show ring. I believe this guy won the Arabian class too which is quite impressive. It was a beautiful Arabian class. So his name is Classic Cat. Oh, and it looks like we're getting down to the bottom of this bin. Classic cat over here. So again, I can put him out in my show cabinet. So this one is a brand new piece. Um, I commissioned him from Jennifer Reed of Unicorn Farms. He is a classic. And he was from, I believe, the classic Mustang Stallion Mold by Maureen Love. And he is a zebra. How cool is that? He's got a uh, little tail that sticks out. So I, I protected it with foam there. Um, this was actually made to go along with a foal. The foal was the piece that I originally commissioned Jennifer Reed to make and she went ahead and she made the whole family and I ended up purchasing the stallion to go along with the foal although I did not purchase the mare. Uh, looking for names on this guy. He was temporarily named, what was it, Ezekiel for the Briar West show, but he needs a better name. Uh, you can see that a lot of uh, structural changes have been made to make this more zebra-like with the top line flattened, the neck was uh, is more upright. A lot of the, the muscling has been smoothed out as you would see in a real zebra. And his finish is just, it's glass smooth. It, it's absolutely amazing. I'm sure Jennifer put many, 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 many hours into making all these stripes and making him so smooth. He's very nice. I'm not sure where his foal was, but he's not in this bin. He must be in my bigger trunk. This is my little trunk. So this is Ezekiel and he was custom by Jennifer Reed. I'm gonna put him aside so he can go in the cabinet as well. And we're down to two horses. This one is, oh, this is Bentley. This is one of my favorites. He's a little Fjord pony. He is customized from the Bridget Everall Pony Mold by Myla Pierce. 
he has a bit of uh, remaking to bring out that front leg and uh, make it extended. So he makes like the cutest little dressage pony. If I showed performance, I think he would make a great setup. Alas, I don't. Um, I can't handle those tiny little buckles. But this is Bentley. Uh, I'm not sure if I just mentioned it or not. He was painted by Myla Pierce. His paint job is very smooth, very nice. I love his little upright mane and all the variation in the coloring and his mane and tail. And he, you can see that he's got the primitive striping on his knees. He's got a dorsal stripe and the black stripe down the middle of his mane. And he's got the cutest little forelock with the cutest little expression. And one of the funny things that I love, I love his shoes. Myla does such a beautiful job. These are, I believe, real um, metal shoes and she has a history in real horse farrier work, so she really knows her shoes. But we will put Bentley aside and we will find uh, the last horse in this bin. This one, oh, I love this horse. This is Poetic Justice. Um, you might recognize him from my Copper Fox biography profile picture. He is a Briar Custom Salonero that was done by Sommer Prosser. He has been one of my favorites throughout the years. Uh, he stands on a base, which is in a separate case, so I can't pull that out quite yet. I apologize, but I'll get him up there by the camera so you can take a look at him. Uh, it wasn't until recently that I just learned that um, he actually has the head of the Briar Pacer. I have owned this horse for many, many years, and I had absolutely no idea that this horse had a Pacer head on him. So he is the Solanero mold with a customized Pacer head. The halter has obviously been removed, and I'm sure it's been tweaked some, but it looks beautiful on him. It's nothing I would have guessed. He has a really slight pearlescent sheen to his paintwork. And he has some faint dappling. He's just very ethereal looking. I love him and I love the Iberian breeds, which is probably partially why I'm so particularly attached to this horse. Again, his name is Poetic Justice. And he was done by Summer Prosser. And even on his mane and tail, he's got a little bit of that lesson sheen. Let's see if we can get you to move Corbell here who's kind of lying in the way of the camera. There. Get you a look at his pretty little face. Oh no, there goes some pony pouches, but that's okay because they're empty now. And this is the last horse that I have in the bin. I have a huge trunk that is probably three times the size of this one with uh, lots more horses in it, but this will be the breaking point for this video. Thanks for watching.